Hello? Are we are we on everywhere? Well, I guess so. We've now started. Hello, everyone. And what what is what happened here? Hello, everyone. And welcome to the program. We don't need these sounds that the spaces is making. I'm on spaces, but I'm here on YouTube talking to everyone. It is Sunday morning. I'm gonna make coffee for me. I was gonna say for you, but it's not about you at all. This is for me, it's this is about me. And this is to feed, you know, an insufferable void, quite frankly, that I struggle to fill <clears throat> every single day. I will also say, if you have not already, and I will say it again throughout the episode, please go watch the latest Hey W with my guest, <clears throat> Athena, Ring of Honor Women's Champion. And um, it's a tense one, but a fun one at the end. Uh, well, first of all, let me say, obviously, I, I am better. I am okay. And at the end, I, I don't want to give it away, but what happens, one of those vet ribs uh, that they, they pull on younger folk like me, and they did a whole thing where it's, a, you know, you're, you're short of breath, and it's all black, and you go, am I going to die? And then Giancarlo and George, the camera guy, the audio guy, they did this thing where they they pretend to, you know, scare her off. Get, you know, get out of here. This whole people step in and I go, oh, oh. And then, you know, I am alive. I am going to be okay. And then I start sort of laughing because I realized what happened. It was one of those old school vet ribs that Athena likes to pull. She's uh, fun that way. Uh, and she's kooky that way. And she did destroy the set. Sometimes, you know, they can take ribs too far, or like a Stan Hansen or something. If they're joking around, they really break something. So uh, we, we're getting a, a new sign, I think. Uh, and we're going to be okay, ultimately. So she, she took us to the limit. But we, we learned so much about her, where she comes from, how she functions, and what her tolerance level is. So please, please go check out that episode. Like it share it, comment on it, and tell her, and tell A.W. that that you like her, and maybe that'll soften her up a little, <clears throat> God willing. Amanda said, good morning, sir. Hello, friends. Mia said, good morning, beautiful people. Happy Easter. Happy Easter to you. Pam said, yeah, okay. Happy Easter and happy Passover. This is real double word score kind of a Sunday. Josh said, rest in peace, RJ, smothered to death by a pillow. I didn't, I, my life certainly flashed before my eyes. Mike said, are we rolling? Happy Easter. Pam said, no, Pam's talking to, <clears throat> I'm already far behind. Christine said, good morning, RJ in chat. Lake said, good morning and happy Easter. So Sierra said, happy Easter. Aaron just put an egg. Nails is here. Joe said, good morning, everyone. What is your favorite Golden Girls spinoff? For me, it's Empty Nest. Well, there's not too much to choose from. Almighty Scorpion has been remembered for 10 months. Congratulations to you. Uh, here we go. Sean said, on the third day, he roasts again. Morning, culties. Happy Easter. Very sweet of you. David Arquette is here. When you think of rebirth and you think of Easter and spring and renewal, you think of David Arquette's career. So thank you for joining us. Amy Cross said, good morning and happy Easter. How about that picture David posted with him and Tanahashi, huh? You ever thought you would see them in the same frame? I don't think so. Aaron said, happy Easter to David. Amy said, happy Easter, everyone. Pam said, yay, 11 months. Very happy. Um, Human Adventure said, good morning, happy Easter. Hope you all found your eggs. Stop doing that a while ago. Bazit said, hello from Pakistan, my naked friend. Today's episode was great. Absolutely hilarious. Quick question, though. Have you developed an asphyxiation fetish after the ending? Um... You know, fetish is a generous term. I wouldn't say it's a fetish. It's something that, and now in hindsight, I wouldn't mind happening again if I knew the outcome would be that. If I knew people were there uh, to watch and protect me. Molly said, what a wonderful way to start my birthday week. You don't get a birthday week. You get a birthday. Squirrel said, good morning. Happy Easter, everyone. Glad you survived the attempted murder. Guys, it was just a rib. Athena was just Josh and me. Uh, like she always does. So that that was fun. Kevin said, Stan Hansen joked around with the AWA title. Yes, he did. For those of you who don't know, did he, uh, Kevin, did he run it over with a tractor and then send it back? Was that the story? That's a good old-fashioned prank. 
Liz said, happy Easter. Hate for us. Can I make a suggestion? I guess. For a painful spinoff of this show. Eh, no. Rod said, still the least violent talk show. It was a rib. It was a fun joke, guys. Relax. I'm do. I'm okay. Thankfully, I'm okay. Nails has been a member for 35 months. The streak lives with Nails. Happy cultiversary to me. Can you show us the O faces of previous Hey W guests? Well, here's Dan Housens. And here's Eddie Kingston's. And here's Mark Henry's. Well, looks like there's been enough fornication. It's time. Uh, I hope that works for you. Who else? Uh, Dalton Castle would suck suck his cheeks in. And I think I think Matt Taven would put his gloves over his face. And Daniel Bryan, of course, would go, hmm, because he wasn't supposed to. It was not his intended goal. Uh, May Sandy said, Athena was like Roddy Piper on the set of The Flower Shop. Ever lovable, joking around Roddy Piper. Human Adventure said, have you been working out more? Your shoulders look more broad than usual. I haven't taken measurements. Is it just the fact that you're carrying AW more than Renee with your interviews? Yeah, that reminds me that you may have seen me mediate on Rampage. Had a little mediation session with uh, Ty Valkyrie and Jade Cargill and, of course, Mark Sterling. I tried to sort of I guess, reach arbitration, I guess, resolve the conflict. And um, you know what? They, they, you, everyone expects solutions instantly. Let me put it like that. And it's not, it's not always possible. It's something that takes time and it takes processing. And I feel like both those women have gone home and thought about what happened. And even though it's not on camera, I think we've, we've reached a, a more amicable situation. Let me put it that way. Leo said, your interview today reminded me of the one where Vader got angry at some poor interviewer on some Middle Eastern TV show. Yeah, but that one was for real. This one's just kind of like a lark, you know. David said, wait, did the My Pillow guy try to murder, murder RJ? I'm sure he did. I'm sure there's conspiracy theories and voting machines. It's a whole thing that you have to look into, uh, but it's there. David said, good morning, all. What an incredible cliffhanger ending. Can't wait for the follow-up angle next Sunday. Mike said, Give us your review on MJF's performance on Dynamite. I was more interested in that politician. He's got my vote. Uh, but happy, happy belated MJF day. Is that how? And is it every year? How do these day things work? You know, Jericho got a street. Then Will Hobbs got a day. And then I guess MJF had day heat with Will Hobbs. So he had his own day. How many these towns just give away days like candy? What is the process for the day here? I would like to know. Maybe that's my next field piece. I'll investigate giving days. Um, Cole said, forgot to buy eggs. Going to have an Easter rock hunt in the yard. You can just look around and pretend to find them. If you're putting them there, you know where they are. Danny said, Easter is a great day to watch Columbo. Sure. Leo said, everything is a fetish, I think. Everything certainly could be a fetish. Maureen says, it's a kink, not a fetish. That's better. That's the word I, that I was looking for. Uh, Mia said, I'm Easter hunting with my nieces today. That's adorable. Rob said, did you make it to King Umberto's? Yes, I did. I'm going to show off pictures of uh, the pizza I had. Let me get down here. There we go. I had, well, first of all, I had baked clams, which I enjoyed tremendously. There's the baked clams there. And then I want to show you how much I ate because what you have to do is you have to take the bread and dip it in the sauce. So then everything's basically gone. And then finally I had the, I had the margarita there. Oh, I do want to clarify though. This is not King Umberto's. This is Umberto's. And that's that classic New York thing of making slightly different names of restaurants and putting them very close to each other and expecting everyone to know the difference. And just call it Steve's, you know? Um, Josh said, congratulations on your mediator job. Who would be your mediator mentor? You know, you th I think about conflict resolution a lot. And I do remember, I, you know what? Maybe, maybe David Arquette in a way, because he's such a mess. that. But every day he gets up and he says, I'm going to fix this. He doesn't. But the next day he tries the same thing again. And I remember once uh, he was talking on the phone and he said, 
I, I'm very angry and I cannot have this conversation right now because I am angry. And I thought that is a man who has made mistakes before and is now keenly aware of them. And I have practiced that. I have now realized because of that moment, I've thought, oh my God, I'm angry. I probably should not be dealing uh, with this. There's also like the 24 hour rule of somebody say, you don't have to answer anything right away. An email, a text, let it process, let things happen. We have a tweet here. John Taffer, sex cult, said, what's up, big homie? Going from pillow fetishes to sex cults with John Taffer. And uh, I would, gee, I would like him to just show up and yell at me and tell me what I'm doing wrong. Uh, on this day in WWE said, what will RJ City Day look like and where would it be held? Well, maybe it would be Morgantown, West Virginia. And I would move, I would give my day to Don Knotts and say, well, Don Knotts should really be having this day. It's not about me. I'm nothing but a person wallowing in his shadow. That's what I would do. President Lee said, RJ is basically David Carradine or his son in Kung Fu, The Legend Continues. Sure. Neil said, had to pause Hey W briefly to celebrate you getting bussy on the program. It's a buzzword, and I like to use it. It helps the algorithm. Human Adventure said, when RJ says Athena was just Josh and him, that sounds like the person in an abusive relationship who says, no, 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 they're really sweet. It's all good. I'm fine. Really good. She's a, f- a fun bet. She's a laugh a minute kind of gal. Josh said, congratulations. On- I, I already read this question. Amanda said, I met Blue Meanie this weekend. He had nothing but nice things to say about you. Well, it's because I've never really worked with him. Uh, let's, let's put a little, I'm going to press the coffee because I'm very tired today. Aaron said, can we get a little Easter parade, please? A fine request. And a song that I was probably going to sing anyway. So well done. As I press my coffee. In your Easter bonnet, with all the frills upon it, you'll be the grandest lady in the Easter parade. Oh, I can write a sonnet about your Easter bonnet. And of the girl I'm taking to the Easter Parade. You ready for the bridge? On the Avenue. On Fifth Avenue. And this part is very difficult. The photographers will snap us. And you'll get to join the photograph for some old language. Oh, I can write a sonnet about your Easter bonnet. And of the girl I'm taking to the Easter parade. Easter parades are a thing that does not happen anymore. Real, I mean, we are really post parade peak as a society. To think, you know, Easter, you're having an Easter parade. It's, it's early April and you got to get out there. It's crazy that you even have the Thanksgiving. I mean, look, if Macy's wasn't doing the thing, we wouldn't be having the Thanksgiving parade. And really, the Thanksgiving parade is just the beginning of the Christmas parade season. Because when else are you having a parade, really? And we're not counting the bowls, the rose bowls, those fly, the things of that nature. Because that's just kind of an isolated event. But I mean, as a culture, are we having Easter parades? I had a, a friend whose father ran sort of a company where you would dress up and they would do parades around a mall. I'm not going to get into it right now. And I believe they only did one or two Easter parades that I was a part of. I was very young. And never again, because it's weird. It's Easter. People just want to sit and hang out and maybe have salami. Amanda said, I also told Renee, I love your love-hate together. And she just laughed and said, thanks. Ha, ha, ha. What a master politician she is. Rod said, does today's cheat day have an Easter theme? At least one package of Peeps and a hollow chocolate bunny. I hope so. I really, really do. Um, I love those eggs that go, (laughs) that's a sensation that my mouth cannot get enough of. Talk about a kink. AKA Baldy just wrote, Mauve Beret, congrats to you. Leo said, will you be at Wembley Stadium? AW's coming to Wembley Stadium. We're going all in London. Uh, I would hope so. I wouldn't see why not. I've been at every pay-per-view since we started. Oh, wait, except for Forbidden Door. I think they told me to stay home. So who knows? I would love to. And I would also love to see, I've got dear friends there uh, from Splat-A-Lot and uh, Dick and Dom. And I also, I was going to, I was going to DM him. I would really like to do something uh, with Hacker the dog. 
So, God willing, that'll be my all-in moment. Sean said, haven't watched Rampage yet, but so excited for, and I've lost my place, and I'm very behind. Haven't watched Rampage yet. How did I miss this whole thing? All right, we're skipping it. I'm sorry. We'll, we'll get to you. Oh, there we go. Excited for your TV debut. Yeah, it was, it was cold with that explanation, but I think people received it well, despite the outcome. Leo said, does anyone else get tagged in those weird Shein things on Instagram? I do, and I have to block the person every time, and then they keep popping up. Uh, Snapple Grapple Pop. Snap Grapple Pop said, the Rampage segment was so good. Thank you. I'm just resolving conflicts. Rod said, will the Wembley show bring back the English character who works in Cords of Wood? Hello. That's how the show is going to open. It's me and Renee going, hello, and people are going to love it. Pam said, oh, yeah, the Oyster Bay supervisor. He was a gem. He looked like an Oyster Bay supervisor. Lauren said, hello. What day would you choose for RJ City Day? Probably my birthday. It's July 18th. It's also Al Snow's birthday and Nelson Mandela. And who needs to celebrate either of them? Mike said, Dalton's WrestleJoy article that you crashed is great. Everyone should go read it. Also, speaking of spaces, which we are on here, this Wednesday at 5 p.m., I will be on the AEW on TV spaces ahead of all access. I will be talking to Ruby Soho about a bunch of different things. And last time I did it with... Britt Baker and Adam Cole, and everybody loved it conceptually. And then technically, it was a disaster. I think we've now worked out the kinks, and Lord, we're going to try it again. So please join us. Human Adventure says, on our way to see the Mario movie, I feel like RJ would make a great Waluigi if that character is included in the sequel, if there is a sequel. I'm sure they will. there will be. They are pumping this plumber dry. David said, baked clams. He really is an old vaudeville comedian. Yes, and I have a Bloody Mary with it. And you don't want to see what the bowl looks like after. Miss Annie said, I proudly wore my David Arquette shirt to AEW on Wednesday. And that's why you were kicked out. Rod said, I believe that the mediator spot brings you one step closer to BB Newer. I'm upset that the mediator is a show with Ice T that already exists, or else I would have trademarked the term and tried to sell shirts already. By the way, there's a new AEW shirt, and you can get it at shopaew.com. They released it with a bunch of other shirts at the same time, and that really bothers me. I don't want it to get lost in the shuffle because it has my face on it. It's the first AEW shirt with my whole body on it. Ray said, I read an article on Joan Plowright this morning, and I thought of you. <laughs> Have a good day, everyone. But as it said, that Vader incident happened in Kuwait. My dad was working there in those days and attended one of those shows. So Shawn Michaels, Undertaker, and others eating together, and it hit him then, then this shit ain't real. So you mean he's never seen it before. Maria said, what's a big homie? I don't want to talk about it. Mia has been a member for seven months and said seven is my favorite number. Matt Haven, you know, so many people are messaging me when they see the kingdom on TV that they can't stop saying Matt Haven. And I really feel responsible for getting him to that next level with that. It's just that little hook, you know? There was uh, Brian Danielson. He was trying his best, having great matches. And then the yes thing. And I feel like Matt Taven will do for Matt Taven. You know, it's just Austin 316. Leo said, John Taffer looks like Brad Garrett and Paul Heyman. No arguments from me. Lauren said, have David mediate between you and Renee. Leo said, have you seen John Taffer's self-help book called Don't Bullshit Yourself? with an angry photo of him on the book cover. I'm, let me put it this way. I've never seen a happy photo of him. I've never seen John Taffer walk into a bar and say, this place looks excellent. Great job, everyone. Midnight Cowboy said, have you and Shivani had the talk yet? I have absolutely uh, no confirmation that he's aware that I think he has heat with me or that he's even heard or seen my episode of AEW Unrestricted, which you can see now on YouTube and podcast, where I divulge the Shivani conspiracy in full. Uh, Emmanuel says, hey, RJ, how is your New York experience? I don't know if it was an experience. It's nice. That Long Island arena is, uh, that UBS arena is beautiful. As you can see, and that's where we mediated. That's where we thought, hey, this is a good place to resolve this. This place relaxes everyone. Maria said, who are you taking to the Easter parade? I want to revive the Easter parade. Bonnets for everybody. But when the Easter parades fell through, the whole bonnet industry really collapsed. 
Christine with a lovely donation said, go buy the Hey W shirt and to the Pros and Tees sale and tomorrow. There is a sale, so you can get my new shirt for cheaper. It's just my luck releasing a new shirt and like two days later, there's a sale. Maureen said, when I first got my undercut, I flipped my hair to one side and screamed and pretended to be Athena. And you pulled old vet ribs on people. Leo said, I had my morning hot drink out of the glass mug too. Have you ever had a hot chocolate from one? There's something about hot chocolate in a glass mug that looks so good. Well, it's fun to watch. It's a little science experiment. Human Adventure said, my wife said you sang the words to Easter Bonnet wrong. Well, when she gets her own show, she can sing the Easter Parade as much as she wants. Hmm? Singing 40 songs here and I get criticized for one. You know, it's very important. It's a parade. There's a bonnet. That's it. Austin said, I'm back. Hey, RJ and everyone. Sorry that I haven't been here in a while. Been busy with work. It's okay. Listen, it's okay to be busy with work, Austin. You don't have to apologize. It's okay to go away and then come back. Everyone needs to calm down. Uh, Nail said, oh, my God, I just realized you may get the righteous on the show. Yes, yes, I may get them on the show. I might get Jay White on the show. Uh, I may get Sky Blue on the show. Might get Nigel Magic McGinnis on the show. Uh, Matt Sanity said, see, these things skips, and then there we go. Just listen to you on Talk is Jericho on my way to UBS, which you, everybody can also listen to now. It was really good. I shouldn't have been able to hear the entire thing on my way there, but traffic was that bad. Yeah, it was over an hour. He tried to wrap it up, but I said, no, I have more jokes. Leo said, I think an Easter egg would make a great wrestling weapon. Haven't we had enough bunnies in wrestling? Yolanda said, happy Easter, everybody. Any of you all go scavenger hunting for eggs with money in it? No, I just got eggs with eggs in them. Snap. Grapple pop. It's still the hardest word. Did you like the Pennies from Heaven's performance? Are you not into such new music? It was a little it was a little new for me. That genre, that swing and stuff is a lot to take in all at once. I prefer something softer like a Mario Lanza. Nail said, I love Dick and Dom. Yolanda, you met my friend Christina in LA, says Mia. That's nice. Zubin said, very excited to see. The flight to All In at Wembley. It's just me on a plane, everybody in the back. Uh, Christine said, the new IWGP champion, Sonata, comes to Forbidden Door. I would love for him to be on Hey. You guys don't even have to talk. I totally forgot. Um, Forbidden Door is in Toronto. to my home and sometimes native land. And there's so many people. There's a Tanahashi. There's an Okada. There's a Toriyano. There's a Minoru Suzuki. All of them are welcome on the show. Squirrel Squad said, A.W. all in it. In, in it. I haven't worked it out. Leo said, you should do something with Outro the Cactus. That's that's all Leo cares about is this cactus puppet. Mia said, it's also my dad's birthday, July 18th. Well, that's his problem. Neil said, it's Rob's birthday, too. For the last four to five years, we've only celebrated RJ and not him. And it's for the best. He doesn't, you know, he gets it. Leo said, I can't watch the Mario movie. I think I'm allergic to Chris Pratt. I, I understand this. The Christian Tom Cruise. What is it with these very religious leading men? Josh said, is Ice-T part of the Warner family? Can you go to his office? Let me show off the things that I got. There's a bunch of stuff here that I have not uh, gone through, and I feel bad about it. First of all, uh, uh, dear friend AJ, who's very good at, at criticizing my clothing. Uh, sent me these stip stickers from her little shop. It's like keepmeshop.com something. You can you can find them. She was also uh, the person who was perceptive enough to say that I look like Gene Kelly. She was the first one. She's always ahead of the curve on trend. And, and this is well wrapped. Let me put it like this. She does a good job folding things. And I don't. Uh, there's that. There's also... Uh, I wrote an article in the, the latest edition of Movie John. It's the spring 2023 with uh, James Earl Jones and Sonny Kiss on the cover, just like I had requested. It's about wrestling movies. Where's my face in here? Oh, there we go. Five five wrestling movies I implore you to watch. And there's, there's my face there. Uh, Effie also wrote a thing in it. It's got that wonderful zine smell. And I think you'll enjoy it. They also sent a couple other things along, little gifts. They got uh, a coloring here of the of the Rock eating pancakes and thinking about how he'll tank the DC universe. 
And then uh, they have one of Jake the Snake Roberts from the Peanut Butter Falcon a movie. He was in with Bruce Dern. And of course, uh, this guy here. Can't quite remember his name. And I thought there was one of Effie, too. Uh, never mind. What are you going to do? Anyway, th those are delightful. So thank you for that. And uh, wait, let me, I'll, I'll continue the unboxing after I read some more comments. Leo said, the only Mario movie is the 90s one with Bob Hoskins and John Leguizamo. Uh, you know, uh, that was really, in essence, compared to now, unfairly maligned. Rod said, TK not giving you a graphic is one heck of a long-term rib. I love people are like, only wrestlers get graphics. They're like, fucking Nigel got a graphic. He's not wrestling. Renee got a graphic. She's never been in a ring in her life. I haven't seen her take one hip toss. Compared to Renee, I'm Lou Fez. Nail said, the Brian Danielson episode of Hey is the most reported on episode. Jeremy from Fightful had a hoot with headlines. I'm happy that I could really revive the dirt sheet industry. I'm shocked that QTV is not reported on it. Travis said, millennials killed the bonded industry. It'll come back. Sean said, John Taffer weirdly did two different bar rescues in the neighboring town to me. Both are now closed. Well, he doesn't save the businesses. He just makes it look nice. And he just makes sure they run well. And then once he does that, you're on your own. It's so weird that uh, these inept people who ran their businesses into the ground aren't able to continue to run their businesses uh, when they're turned into nice places. Nail said, someone sitting near us in UBS was so relaxed and drunk they had a, a nap mid-show. There's a thing. I can't remember who it is. It's Taven and like Alex Shelley or something, and a guy fell asleep at Ring of Honor, and they threw a shoe at him. Or there was something, I can't remember it now, but I'm going to go look for it after this. I didn't show the underwear, by the way. These are roses. I thought spring renewal, that kind of thing. You get the gist. Let's continue to talk, shall we? Rob said, in New York really relaxes everyone. When you think of New York, the first thing that springs to mind is relaxation. People say New York, and I go, ah. Yolanda said, ooh, pastel bonnets with delicate, ruffle trim detail. Yolanda, I think you need to get into the bonnet designing business. Um, there we are. Amanda said, I'm packing to head home from Squared Circle. I hung out with Jamie Hayter all day. She was passing out chops and I 100% said crumb seat to her. Does she even remember being on the show or she blocked it out of her memory completely? Maureen said, I got kicked out of the Cow Palace parking lot for asking Billy Gunn for an autograph. I was told I was harassing wrestlers. Well, you don't yell it at them. Leo said, do you ever do a home workout? Yes, I do this and then down my toes. It's great. Mike said, did you get the Talk is Jericho follower bump? I'm still waiting, Chris. I'm still waiting. And I bought him celery. Um, Leo said, I love when people post photos of themselves working out in your shirt. and You get annoyed with them for ruining the shirt. It's kind of disgusting. <laughs> Pam said, I pray that you get Nigel and Hey W. He did reckon, he, I said hello to him. There was like a, a long pause and he was like, Hey E W. Like, yes, thank you. Mike said, I love the new episode of Hey. If AW wanted you to manage someone, who would you be interested in managing? I had always said FTR. I just thought it would be a really good combination. Wardlow, I have a history with. So. Uh, and then, and then after that, maybe the outcasts. I think Soraya needs some guidance. Nail said the play Ryan from Hey W. Uh, Joe said I got in an argument at work because this guy didn't believe Tony Shalhoub was a taxi driver in Wings. It was an eventful morning. Fucking idiot. Gina said six months and never disappointed here. Love you all. Thank you. Let's open. Christine sent me a bunch of. Dick Cavett related. I don't even want to open them. I'll just show them. Christine, it was so delightful. This is a Dick Cavett TV guide. And it just says Dick Cavett. Uh, Jacqueline, Jacqueline Suzanne says, some talk shows bite. And then on the back, there's an ad for Kent Cigarettes. Uh, micro night filter, mild, smooth taste for all the right reasons. Kent. And this is how old it is. There is a surging general's warning, but it just says it's dangerous to your health. And then the next one is, this is my favorite. This is me in a nutshell. It's uh, New York Magazine. Dick Cavett bears all. He's interviewing himself, which is a photo I absolutely need to recreate. And then here's the other article titles. Why killers get away with murder. Cool cafes where you can linger. 
And is Samuel selling out the city? Dick Cavett talks about sex, celebrity status, and comic genius. And then on the back, there's an ad for Salem cigarettes. It's two guys uh, in a river kind of deliverance style. They're on a log. Salem refreshes naturally. Naturally grown menthol, rich natural tobacco taste, no harsh, hot taste. Yeah, these cigarettes don't don't taste hot at all when you light them on fire. And next on the list is Time Magazine with Dick Havitt on the cover. It says, Wit in the Night, which I don't think is a pun. But there's a little lock here is adorable. And on the back, there's an ad for Murray's Aaron Moore Tobacco. It's like chewing tobacco, as we can see here. Uh, Aaron Moore's world famous flavor and aroma are pure enjoyment to any pipe smoker. Oh, it's like it's pipe tobacco. Even burning Aaron Moore is a superbly blended combination of select Georgia and Virginia tobaccos, delicately Cavendish cut. The unique flavor and blending process are over a century old. They've made Aaron Moore a trusted friend to pipe smokers around the world. And this doesn't even have a Surgeon General's warning. So maybe they only thought cigarettes were bad. Um, and there's a, the final one here. This is the big one. Uh, they just get bigger and bigger. Dick Cavett on Life magazine. This is Dick Cavett offstage with the brightest face on screen. And look at this. The big conservative picks. Reagan soars with it in California. Ohio's perfect voter has her doubts. How little has changed. And on the back, the classic Pall Mall famous cigarettes. Got a nice shot of that there. U.S. government figures show Pall Mall Gold's 100s are lower in tar than the best-selling Filter King. They're longer, yet milder. So that was the selling point here, uh, that they have less tar than your usual cigarette. We should have all seen the signs coming. Uh, Leo said, do you like Nacho Libre? Not really. Austin said, is the weather fine where you're at? Because it was gloomy and raining all day. Actually, it's finally it's finally nice. There's a sun and I, you can't bask in it. You need a jacket. But it's a lot nicer than it was before. Sean said, I like Peanut Butter Falcon a lot. I like Mick and Jake. We're the best part. I need to get Jake on the show. Um, Philip said, Athena's a bully. She's just, she was having a, a laugh. Leo said, even Howard the Duck looks good these days. Josh said, speaking of Bob Hoskins, everyone should watch Mona Lisa. Hell of a flick. Travis said, the Mario movie was actually really good. You forget it's Chris Pratt after 10 minutes. And why didn't they start with someone else? Could have saved me 10 minutes. I am way behind in the chat. Okay, here we go. No, no, I'm catching up. I'm going to go again. Leo said, do you know that really weird wrestling journalist that works for Forbes who's obsessed with how much he hates AEW? Used to do cringe videos where he called himself the big nasty. I will say non-wrestling people who have wrestling gimmicks are just inherently weirder than wrestlers. Um, Rick said, I hadn't listened to Kimya Dawson for a while before the Danielson mentioned. Kimya Dawson. So Danielson sung on a Kimya Dawson song about Captain Lou Albano. And I brought it up in the interview. And she reposted it. And she follows me now. And that makes me... So happy that you can say something really uh, basically intentionally obscure and then it finds its way to the right person. And then, you know, I'm sure she was making that little Albano song saying, who the fuck is going to listen to this? And years and years later, here we are. Austin said, one of my favorite things about Easter's is that there are pastel colors everywhere. That pastel season should should last longer, quite frankly. I think this is beautiful. If you talk to Ice T, I'm not going to talk to Ice T. Um, Amanda said, Jamie said she remembered and she said it was a, such a good time. Well, go back and tell her I said hello. Leo said, does it ever happen that someone takes a photo of you and it looks so bad it actually makes you sad? Leo, I cannot tell you the countless times I would come home from a wrestling show and spend my wee hours untagging myself from Facebook photos. So Sierra said, years ago, my hubby fell asleep front row at a Ring of Honor TV taping. He was woken up by the guardrail hitting his knees from a wrestler being thrown against it. Could you imagine? Just leave. Just gets dangerous to fall asleep at a wrestling show. Uh, Nail said, I think you could micromanage another manager. Maybe Stokely, that poor guy. You know, I hope he heals up or, you know, whatever's going on. Uh, a valiant effort as far as I'm concerned. He's one of the greats. 
Bazit said, Kavit is my favorite dick. Love all those Muhammad Ali, Muhammad? Muhammad Ali interviews. The Orson Welles interviews, the Betty Davis, the Catherine Hepburn, the Jerry Lewis is one of my favorites. The Groucho, of course. I mean, and I've said it, and David knows this. He's my favorite. Shonika has been a member for 22 months. Hi, all. Long time no see. RJ, you were fantastic on the best show. Did you have fun? Thank you for reminding me. If you want to go hear or watch my interview on the best show with Tom Sharpling, you can do it right now. I honestly think, in terms of just straight up being interviewed, it might be my favorite one I've ever done. I I revere a band like that. And I was happy that I could somewhat impress him. And even better than that, on the show, which I will clip and I will blast online, he said he will text Tony Shalhoub about doing AEW. We are one step closer, my friends. Go listen to it. This is a delightful time. Kendi said, I think I would become unalive if you managed Wardlow. The happiness that would bring me. Positively, he said, my favorite John Leguizamo project is The Pest. Leguizamo had those very good one-man shows, too. I really liked them. Eddie said, who would you like to smoke a cigarette on a log with, RJ? That's that's really, really an excellent question. I would say uh, Mama Briscoe. I met her in L.A., and she was delightful, and she made me feel safe. Um, Kevin said, RJ reviews classic cigarette ads. Leo said, who is the shittiest comedian you have seen live? The worst I saw was last night. I mean, in terms of professional comedians, I try not. I can only go to ones that I really, really, really enjoy. You know, it was like a Gilbert Gottfried or a Jeremy Hotz or a Ron White. I have this proclivity for one Ron White. I also want to point out, listening in spaces is, is Victor, who is the uh, arbiter, the founder of the wrestling club. And they had a, a hell of a two weeks. They were at Stand and Deliver. They were at Mania. And then I was so happy to, I felt like a person of influence that I could somewhat hook them up. Although I didn't really do, Amanda did all the work. Amanda Huber, she was fantastic. The kids came backstage at UBS and I thought, oh, like here's the set and here's a microphone. I gave them a microphone. Enjoy yourself. Take pictures. And I thought that would be it because everything's busy. You don't know. And then it was like everybody took time out to see them. Uh, Kenny Omega, the Bucks, Adam Cole, Sammy Guevara, Will Hobbs, FTR gave them like a seminar. You got a free FTR seminar. Uh, who else did they take pictures with? Oh, my God. Jade was there. Uh, it was delightful. And it, I'm, it's nice that they were happy, but they also made everybody happy. Because everyone's stressed out. And then you forget, like, oh, yeah, people in really, really enjoy this. And it's so nice. I mean, look, I don't think any of them have seen Hey W before. When I walked in the room, they didn't go, <gasps> which, you know, hurt. It broke my heart. But I was happy to give them the joy that I, I would have loved to get as a child. Because as an adult, you know, the joy is gone. Leo said, oh, I already read that. Gina has gifted five memberships. So sweet. E. Connor, Elliot, Desi, Marjorie. Kirsty, you're all members now, so enjoy it. I don't know what to tell you what to do with it. Uh, David said, RJ had a lovely conversation with Dick Cavett once, and it was a joy to witness. David got me the phone call for my birthday, and he listened in, and it was the best. And I have it somewhere. Um, but I won't divulge the details, the secrets he gave me. Um, and even crazier than that is that David Arquette's grandfather was on the Jack Parr show and the Dick Cavett show. So it was really nice. He was like, my grandfather's Charlie Weaver. And Dick went, oh, <laughs> and told a nice story. Amanda said, I'm going to a place called Uranus Fudge Factory today. It's a bunch of ass jokes. We, uh, there's no call for that here. Leo said, I love John Leguizamo. John Leguizamo, I can't remember the names of the shows, but I used to those HBO one-man shows where he's just sweating a lot. Rod said, CM Punk bought Dan Housen an expensive comic book. If he were to gift you something, what would it be? I, well, David already gave me a Jerry Lewis jacket, which is like the top of the line of like expensive gifts that, that I hold dear. Um, it's a really good question. I would, uh, I would just maybe like a Jerry Lewis pair of pants. 
and then I can have the whole outfit. That would be on my Amazon wish list. I'll, I'll just send it to you. Eddie said, did you go with Bad Mammy Jamma or Razzle Dazzle? Uh, that's per the Jericho catch race trade. I went with Bad Mammy Jamma. Razzle Dazzle was, wasn't working for me. Uh, the Bad Mammy Jamma is so much nicer. Neil said, the interview on the best show started slow as the host talks so low key and pa pauses a lot. But after a minute, Rob was crying laughing. If you thought I was dry and that there's humor and things that go over your head with me, may I introduce you to Tom Sharpling on the best show? And it is one of those things where you lay it low. And it, it is, I guess, intention grabbing in that sense that you have to kind of drown out everything else and listen to it or you cannot appreciate it. And that's what I love. Uh, he took this, this, this graceful shot at Logan Paul. I remember going, wow, that was really well constructed. David said, RJ is a Ron White guy. Who knew? I'm sure it was spurred by my appearance in Rascal Flatts video with him. I did not know about this, and I'm going to need to look it up. You're, you know, your IMDb is crazy, but then there's so much shit you've done that's not on there. That's even more insane. It's that sub IMDb. Big Ben is here. Say good morning, or uh, Mr. City. Or, you know, I hope your coffee is excellent. Uh, and that you are as well. I've got some Black Rifle this morning. Highly recommend. Well, I, I hope that is indeed coffee. If you like wrestling, Crossbody Studios has uproar. It's uh, You can click on Ben's stuff on Twitter and so on and so forth. It's some good wrestling with some hip young kids. And he puts it all together and it's delightful. Positive E said, Juno is one of my all-time favorite movies. The songs remind me of my ex, though he hated the movie and most pop culture things aside from the Family Guy, Simpson, Futurama, American Dad. I don't really need to talk about your ex here. Nicholas said, I'm in the TV studio, but someone gave me a sub for free. So thanks. Well, well, congrats. What TV studio are you in? Joelle said, which is worse? My kids got egg coloring on my Hey W shirt or working out in a Hey W shirt. Working out is gross. It's way more personal. The egg coloring is just dye. It's an accident, and it's bright, and it'll come off. Sweat is hideous. Leo said, the best thing about going to indie wrestling shows is them all using actual songs as entrance themes and seeing what awful taste in music they have. You never know what music people like until they have free reign to pick their own entrance theme. Speaking of, I did go to the uh, – oh, I talked about this already. I popped up that emo thing. I didn't like any of those songs. Adam said, people talk about wrestling. Oh, God, that I've missed. I'm going back. People talk about wrestling, boom periods, and casual viewership. Is this all attributed to the distribution of TV Guide? Talk about a boom period. I used to read the shit out of that. I used to read as a child the schedule of TV Guide. For, uh, with no intention of watching, I don't even know if I got those channels, but I would just read it. Like, you go to your grandmother, and you just... Read what's on Wednesday mornings. You you would just read names of shows and times and like what the programming blocks were as if you gleaned some sort of information. But I always say Twitter is is the, it, like if people are like, oh, Twitter's new. It makes people so toxic. Go read the back of a TV guide and watch like the review guide just shit on people, like shit on wings or something. And then people will write in and be like, what happened to Soupy Sales? I never liked him. It's like that's was the genesis of Twitter for me. Was at the back of the TV guy. Yolanda said that brings me joy. Glad the wrestling club got to experience that. I got to meet some of them in LA. I'm sure they will be back uh, when we come to New York. And what sucks is that they were on their spring break, so we could not go to the club. And I want to go to the club, and I want to make them watch every episode of Hey W and say, "Shh, this is art." Uh, a five-year-old Bazit says Bazit would be flabbergasted that David Arquette and I are in the same chat. It's not that crazy. Craving the attention of a naked man drinking coffee. That part's the curveball. Uh, Christine said, RJ making the kids happy. Take that, Peter Forsberg. Fuck Peter Forsberg. Rob said, the image of Randy Savage storming the Capitol killed me. Well, he was a very intense guy. Uh, Wistine said, it would have been cool if Dan Housen came on Hey W as Joey Cincinnati, the Easter Bunny. Uh, I think we're good. Uh, Big Ben said, oh, shucks. Thank you. I'll be quiet. David said, I'd love to hear your take 
on Joe Piscopo. Oh, we're getting controversial now. The downfall of Joe Piscopo, Dennis Miller, and Bill Maher. Thanks. Well, Piscopo is in that that trajectory that like a carrot top was on for a bit where these comedians get popular and they, they've always just wanted to be like hot and, you know, really, really respected and wanted to be like the, it's that rock star syndrome. And you just realize, oh, that's what they wanted to do this entire time. And the comedy was their Trojan horse. And Piscopo got in insanely good shape and did these specials. And he was, he was really talented and he was a great counterpart to Eddie Murphy. But he would do these drumming solos. And it's like, he's watching it. And you're like, I came here to laugh. And now I have to take your drumming seriously? Like, what are we doing here? And then, this is my curry understanding. He left his wife for his kid's nanny. And he fell madly in love with her. And on one of his specials, he just, he wrote a love song for her. And it's, it's like a real, like a Bruce Springsteen-y ripoff. Because he's from New Jersey. He's a Jersey guy. And he was like, me and the boss, I like this. It was so bizarre. And it's a shame because I think he was really, really talented. And now I follow him on Instagram for my own personal enjoyment. The fall of Dennis Miller was pro probably the football stuff. Being a football commentator. It was like, a that, that was a big role. It was daring. And yet... I feel the same way when I do the pay-per-view pre-shows. I go, this is going to go horribly. Let's at least try not to become Dennis Miller. It's a shame. I thought Dennis Miller was always very funny. and But he never really, you know, he's never going to be an actor. His shows were good. I always thought his talk shows were good. And then he got into, and the same thing in the Mar territory. And the, and the, the Mar thing, he would always have good guests. I enjoyed the show despite not really enjoying him. I'm talking about the early stuff, all the HBO stuff. Those guys were better on HBO where you could wear a suit with jeans. Once that suit with jeans thing dropped out, it was over for them. They could not make the turn as far as I'm concerned. And then they just realized it was like they got lazy and thought, well, let me just say the other talking points. These Some people, when they have those shit talking points, um, you go, oh, do you really believe this shit? Or are you just saying it on purpose? Those are two guys who I'm like, they're just saying it on purpose. They know it's all a game, and they're, just, they're playing a game and feeding into the system. Fine. Uh, Janice Miller, I, I like to listen to a lot more. He did a wonderful, he has a lot of good specials. Bill Maher, I can't think of one stand-up special or where I was like, oh, my God. He was more of like, he's one of those comedians who like turned out not to be a comedian <laughs> at all, which is really weird. But, you know, if I had to have lunch with one, I would pick... Dennis Miller, as long as, like, Piscopo was in a far corner table and we could watch him from far. Nicholas said, I'm in the TV studio for the Disc Golf Pro Tour. I do graphics and video replay. And I thought I had the best job. Nicholas Markey. Let me just state what this guy does again. He does graphics and video replay for the Disc Golf Pro Tour. That's how lucrative the business is. That not only is there a pro tour, but they can afford a graphics guy. I had no idea. This is the golden age of disc golf, as far as I'm concerned. Steven said, you've been brilliant on all the recent shows, sir. It was great to hear Chris Jericho have a genuine conversation with you where he wasn't in character. It was all jokes for like an hour. Also loved how you broke Athena with the O-Face. My O-Face has broken a lot of people. <laughs> it's not something you want to behold. Let me put it that way. David sent a wonderful pair tribute for some reason. I'm still, well, I guess probably because the my Joe Piscopo analysis. Did you ever meet Joe Piscopo, David? That would have been a hoot. Mike said, the back of the TV guide was a must read for all the movies that were coming on HBO that month. Yes, and yet I didn't have HBO. And I would not see these movies until years and years later. There is a, the hotels we usually stay in with AEW have showtime whatever the menus are it's like hey you get free showtime okay great there's a david johansson documentary directed by martin scorsese and i'm so excited to watch it in the hotel because i'll never have showtime on my own leo said i used to love reading the movie ratings and tv guides you can read them all day they're fantastic they are so wonderful i'm gonna bring back tv guide 
Me TV, by the way, on Twitter, they have the best quizzes. One of them was, here's Barney Fife's faces. What's he reacting to? And I retweeted it like two days ago. It was so good. Uh, Steven said, I, I pledge my lifetime appreciation to you from coming to the ring to you don't own me. Thank you so much. That means everything to me. Tony will never buy the rights, but still. Pam said, I used to throw the TV guys at my sister growing up. Well, that's a different thing to do with it. Certainly another option. Um, Christine said, lots of parallels between TV Guide and Soap Opera Digest, lest we forget, which I read cover to cover, even though I watched the two shows. I only watched two shows, right down to the angry letters in the back. You would read people complaining about shows that you have never even heard of before. That's, you know, that's the best to me. To be involved in the bullshitting drama of shit that I don't even know about. Mike said, Randy Savage would have been the best or absolute worst guest on Hey W. But that's the beauty of the show. He said the worst guest is in many ways the best one. Christine said, we didn't have TV guy. We were pouring you Star Week. That's a deep cut Toronto reference. Matt Sandy said, Joe Piscopo hosts a Sinatra tribute show every Sunday night on New York City radio. You mean Sundays with Sinatra? With Joe Piscopo? That's how bad he is at his job. Sundays with Sinatra, with Joe Piscopo. Um, Nail said, I always loved, you read the TV guy, you don't need the TV from Lost Boys. That's also true. Eddie Murphy, it's not the Eddie Murphy, said, heard the dudes on SmackDown called Ricochet, highlight of the night. Maybe like Jericho now. I think he's okay. I think he's moved on to his other 40 nicknames. Uh, Mia said there are only four left, four soap operas left. Days of Our Lives, Bold and Beautiful, The Young and the Restless, and General Hospital. I I mentioned in a previous video last week, I mentioned All My Children. I had no idea it had been canceled. <laughs> That's how little I watched them. Uh, positively, he said, D Dennis Miller is all, I can't be funny because of PC culture. It is such a uh, wonderfully convenient excuse. It's a shame. I thought it was very funny. Christine said, I used to listen to Dennis Miller specials over and over. Um, May Sandy said, I like Bill Maher's podcast, you know, and I love Fran Leibowitz. And I was I was listening and, and reading all his stuff long before the, the Scorsese thing they did on Netflix. And she was on Bill Maher's thing. I listened to her. I enjoy her. So I said, I'm going to listen to it. And it was just them complaining about fucking children. Uh, it was like, that's it. That's the best. We could not take any step forward here. There was no evolution. Like I've been, sometimes you, you're you a fan of somebody for so long and then you change and you want them to grow with you and they don't. And that's like kids shows. That's like why you stop watching kids shows or probably why a lot of people stop watching wrestling. And you're just like, gee, I just wish, because now you're right. You're doing the same routine, and you, but you're it's it's wearing thin. And I say that as someone who is, Made coffee in his underwear for the past five years. Is this running thin? Will somebody tell me if this is getting stale and old and weird? Uh, David said, I feel like I saw Joe Piscopo at an event or two, but I don't think we ever met. Let me hook it up, David. You guys need to meet and say, Mr. Piscopo, sir, I respect your work. Leo said, do you still use DVDs? I was just talking about this. I have a DVD player and VCR combo, and I will never get rid of it. Will you watch all the opening credits of all the Star Trek shows? This is a great idea. I absolutely will. Pam said, I talk about, all this talk about comedians, I'm thinking of Colin Quinn, not sure why. Colin Quinn is similar in the sense that like he was a stand-up and he still is a stand-up, but then morphed into a host and then started doing the one-man shows, which are stand-up but also not stand-up, but yet very enjoyable. Like if it was just a special of him on HBO, like with the mic and, you know, oh, I was on the subway, boys are dirty. I don't think I would be that interested. There is a perfect example of somebody who I feel like evolves his material. Really, because he did, he did so much that you know, the stand-up stuff, the Weekend Update, Tough Crowd was one of my favorites, and then him doing these one-man shows now, which is really his thing. And he still works them out at the clubs, but they're, they're beautiful, and it makes it feel like I'm taking in something new. Uh, oh, I read that already. Um... Matt Sandy said, TV Guy does still exist. I recently subscribed. It's not nearly as good as it used to be. Well, neither is television. 
Ali said, if you read the TV guy, you don't need. Yes, we did that already. Bassett said, as a musician, a musician from here got to be on Bill Marshall back in the day. Bill, Gene Simmons, and Laura Ingram ripped into him the whole time. And afterwards, Bill said, I admire him a lot for coming on. It's such like a, he's one of those guys that's probably like, what we do is pro wrestling. It's like, no, it's not because it's not pro wrestling. And you just just kind of a dick. Mia said, RJ, you're really not going to do my request? I've probably just missed the request, Mia. It's more than likely a dramatic reading of the theme song of DuckTales. Okay. All right. Uh, lyrics. Okay. Here we go. I feel like I did that already once, months and years ago. Here we are now. Life is like a hurricane here in Duckburg. Race cars, lasers, airplanes. It's a duck blur. You might solve a mystery or, or rewrite history. <laughs> Ducktails. Every day they're out there making ducktails. Wow. Tales of daring do, bad and good luck tales. Did, 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 did danger lurks behind a stranger out to find you? What to do? Just grab on to some ducktails. Every day they're out there making ducktails. Tales of daring do, bad and good ducktails. Not pony tales. Or cottontails. No. Ducktails. Whoa. That was my dramatic reading of the theme from Ducktail. Happy to get that one out there. Hope that worked for you, Mia. And now I'm way, way, way behind. We should go to just click on the requests at the bottom here. All right, let me get it together. Uh, I'm catching up here. Splat said, Do you remember the soap opera Passions? Yes. Wasn't it the crazy, craziest one? And they had magic and a little person and a whole thing happening gina said i wanted to be susan lucci growing up i ran into her at cbs joelle said stefano demera was the mjf of our mom and grandmother's viewing in the 90s uh philip said at what age does streaming yourself making coffee in your underwear get creepy i guess we're gonna find out neil said do you think we'll ever outgrow you well one day and you'll say this is a we cannot take this anymore um Mike said, are you familiar with Moses Storm? He's really HBO special Trash White. He's really good. I'm not. I'll add it to my list. Austin said, I have a DVR VC, DVD VCR combo too. I heard that they were like over 100 bucks back then, but I got mine for 15. They're so good. I have VHSs that there's certain things I do not want to watch on anything other than VHS. Um, Rod said... Oh, Nick said, can I suggest the intros to Kids Incorporated for a future video? Some interesting people in these kids. I want to do, I want to react to a supercut of the intros to Zoom. PBS is Zoom. Zumba, Zumba, Zoom. I love those kids. I'm Elise. I'm Pablo. That was, that was my favorite. I just walked around the house going, I'm Pablo all day. Rod said, I would watch the shit out of a wrestling version of Tough Crowd with RJ's house. God, I love that show so much. I don't think... Many wrestlers can handle it. Snap. Grapple Pop said, whenever RJ has his wrestling debut, I want the recent Guns entrance, but instead of 50 Cent's Many Men, it, it's my party, and if I, I'll cry if I want to. Lest we forget that there is a sequel to that song. And I believe it's called Judy's Turn to Cry. These two women hated each other. Um, Positively E said, well, I don't know what we're talking about. Wrestle Joy, who had a wonderful article. Uh, that you could uh, look at on Dalton Castle. That I crashed, and they transcribed the whole thing. You should check out Paul Preventa's Green Room if you haven't seen it. I've seen every episode. That's fantastic. And it's like the successor to Tough Crowd in many ways. It's wonderful. Thought of it when you mentioned comedians uh, turned better host. Paul Preventa uh, is maybe one. And that show is even, even, like even too much for Showtime. But I do watch it, and I rewatch them all the time because of the Showtime in the hotel room. That's a good, especially when you've seen the episodes, it's, it's just easy to put on again and enjoy. Oh, my God. What else is here? I enjoy any chat that includes references to Jerry Lewis, Stefano Dumera, and the Blue Meanie. It really does encompass my interests. Maria said, Zoom is fantastic. Totally forgot about it. Lawrence Olivier's Hamlet on VHS. Oh, my God. God bless. Well, all I want to say is this. Uh, go watch the latest Hey W with Athena. Go watch it, like it, share it, all that shit. Tell her you like it. Tell Tony you like it. Um, Tony Orlando next week, this week ish, whenever your week starts, 
Uh, 5 p.m. Eastern on Wednesday, I'm talking to Ruby Soho on Spaces ahead of Dynamite and All Access. And uh, in the meantime, there's a bunch of other shit that's uh, just be around. Shit. I don't know what to tell you. It's Easter. Go eat and then be around. Go watch all the other shit, too. Is a final look at the underwear. Will we ever grow at this? Who knows? But in the meantime, cut speed and cut.